Did you hear the feds increase the interest rates? And you're wondering, what does that mean for our real estate market? Stay tuned. Welcome to Step Into the Valley with Katrina Du at the Three Step Realty Group. In today's episode, we're gonna be talking about the real estate market and what's happening right now. You may have heard recently the Federal Reserve or the Feds have increased the interest rate. In fact, they stated that they intend to increase interest rates six more times by the end of this year. So what does that mean for home values, home prices? I have people asking me, do I think home prices are going to go down? Are we going to have a softening of a market? Is it all going to go down? Well, Let's go over some stats and numbers and what some of the experts are saying. So first, what I wanna share with you here is this chart right here called Price Appreciation is Accelerating. This chart shows us the year over year by month of home appreciation. So you can see back in January of 2021 that this nationally speaking, national home prices increased 10%. And then you can see in January of this year, it was 19.1%. So this is pretty high compared to our national average because right now we are still experiencing supply and demand that's affecting the real estate market because we have a lot more demand for homes, buyers that need homes or want homes, than we have sellers or homes for sale supply. We have a lot more demand than we have supply. And that is running these numbers of appreciation. We did have a little bit, you can see in July through November, we had a little bit of a steady kind of plateau of home appreciation for year over year. And then it picked back up in December and January. So yes, the experts are still uh, saying that they expect home values to keep going up. But, and in fact, you may have heard me say this in videos before is, they're saying home values are going up and it might be in smaller increments. And that really does show us that that's what's happening right now. With interest rates going up, yeah, the experts are still predicting that home values are gonna go up as well, or home prices. But let's take a look at something that I find really interesting. Check out this interesting chart, which shows you the changes in prices last year nationally. We had an appreciation of 17.5% nationally, and California was 19.6%. This demonstrates how we had supply and demand, because if you look closely, none of the states there had any drop in prices in the last year. Well, let's go back even further, because I have people asking me, is buying a home really the right thing to do right now? Well, if we go back five years right here, you can see that homes appreciated 54.5% nationally and California was 58%. That's a pretty darn good investment in five years, right? And again, you don't see anything that was below zero or negative. So five years ago, if you could have bought a home, would you have? Let me blow your mind a little bit. Let's go back 30 years. 30 years ago, if you could have bought a home with an appreciation in California of 290%, would you have? Yeah. Because <laughs> that appreciation was in spite of the bubble burst and other recessions that we had going on. And as you can see again, nothing was in the negative. So is a home, buying a home or real estate a good investment? I may be a little biased working in real estate, but I think so, <laughs> regardless of my biasness. So let's talk a little bit more about, well, what's happening today? Are home prices going to go down because interest rates are going up? The experts, if you check out this chart, show us that they're predicting home prices to keep going up in spite of interest rates, because again, we're being driven by supply and demand. A whole lot more buyers than we have homes for sale. In fact, the average of these experts is 6.1%. We're gonna keep watching everything for you so that way we can tell you how things are looking more on a local basis for us. I have talked to a few people that said, oh my gosh, but with home prices going up, we're eventually gonna have to bottom out, aren't we? Are we gonna experience a whole drop again? 
again us realtors we don't exactly have a crystal ball but what we can do is we can show you the statistics and i want to show you this chart here that was created by the federal reserve that shows you how many loans were given out to people with credit scores of under 620 and that goes all the way back from 2003 check that out the orange bars 2003 to 2007. how much more from 2008 to current of loans were given to people with credit scores under 620. The difference here of the high to the low is previously before the bubble burst, there wasn't a whole lot of standards given. Lenders were basically giving loans to people that just asked for them and weren't following or making sure that their buyers could really afford that loan. Now, from 2008 to current, lenders are being more careful with their buyers to make sure they're setting them up to succeed with their loans, which is phenomenal. <laughs> so if you're thinking about buying or selling a home and you wanna know how is this going to all affect me if I wanna sell my home today, if I wanna buy a home today, well, we would be honored to talk to you about that. Please just give us a call at the number below because we're here for you. And in the meantime, subscribe to our YouTube channel because we put a new video out for you every Friday.